So as you can see, I'm doing something just a little bit different uh, in today's video. And with the help of playing this particular level on Crash Bandicoot, which is an incredibly nostalgic game for me. When I first got the PlayStation like two decades or so ago, I would have been like 12 or 13, Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1 was like the first game that I ever got, I think. And, uh, oh no, no, it was the second game. The first game I got was Casper. And um, so there is a slight nostalgia for me uh, to play this. Even just seeing this particular screen is already giving me uh, Vietnam flashbacks at the amount of times that I failed at doing this. But this level is going to help me to emphasize a particular point about the self-development journey that you're either about to go on or what you might currently be going on. And hopefully it will kind of help me to elaborate a particular point in how to treat working on your date in life and if you are thinking about doing cold approaching or just anything else to improve yourself what that journey might look and feel like so i'll i'll, I'll try my very best to multitask here and and play through uh, the level as well as giving um, advice uh, this will either go really well or it's gonna sort of fail miserably and i'm gonna be terrible at I'm going to be terrible at multitasking, but I will um, do my best to, to give it a go. So almost uh, like the same with, with playing a game, when you've got something brand new, you don't really know what to expect. Um, you don't know how challenging it's going to be. You don't know what the learning curve is going to be. Um, you don't know what sort of obstacles. Yes. Uh, you don't know what sort of obstacles you're going to come across as well. It's going to be a complete minefield. Your expectations are going to be all over, like, over the place. And your brain is just going to be thinking like about a million and one things as you're trying to make sense of uh, of what's going on. on. In. Yes. There we go. Um, and because of that, you know, you're, if you're allowing your expectations to get the better of you, it always becomes incredibly overwhelming. Um, and then you start predicting things that aren't necessarily going to, to happen. Oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. There we go. So what happens then if you start predicting things that are out of your control? Well, you're going to just let your limiting beliefs take over. And it's going to make uh, learning anything and doing anything just that little bit harder. Right, hang on. I'm doing this. <laughs> I, might, I might actually be struggling. Oh, oh shit. We should go. There we go. Um, uh, so it does. It makes it just uh, a lot harder. Okay. okay. So by then overthinking things, you're not really allowing yourself to be present so then when you do come up to a particular uh obstacle just, just, go, go, go. Oh. am i gonna have to start again oh okay um so then when you do actually come up to a particular obstacle and it's challenging for some people it can be just too overwhelming and they can't do it they won't be willing to try it again whether it be then a really traumatic experience or by not having the right kind of support system in place, they just don't want to put in the effort of having to try and do something again. But there's a, a difference though, when you start facing your fears and you start to become desensitized to it, you also start to just uh, acknowledge or develop this autopilot of knowing what to expect and how to react. And this can apply definitely even with like dating with cold approaching. Um, if you're someone who starts off first of all, just being really anxious, you don't know what to say. You first of all will have your first approaches, they'll be rubbish. Expect them to be rubbish, that it's not gonna be great. But then once you've done it a few times, okay. Once you've done it a few times and you've got some reactions from different openers that you've said or different questions and curiosities that you've had, 
suddenly you find that you can overcome that hurdle and it's not too bad at all. Hang on. There we go. And you can get those better results uh, even faster and you can recall what to do and how to behave and how to react uh, even sooner too. Okay. I'm really keen to... Oh! Oh yeah, that was lucky. That was that was lucky. So when you at least get back to the same obstacle again, you now have more awareness of what the particular outcomes are. Whatever you did before, if that was incorrect, if that was wrong, you at least have some kind of awareness now of what you can try and do differently. So let's see if I can try and do this differently. Or I do it worse. So but then again, it just becomes a learning curve. So, so with that particular uh, uh, instance, I know that I shouldn't have gone um, before the stairs popped up. I should have actually waited until the stairs popped up and then I would have probably had the opportunity to do it. Um, and even like with life, you'll have these same sort of moments. You'll, um, you'll have good days, you'll have bad days. You'll have good sessions and bad sessions when you're out practicing talking to people. And, um, and you can't let it get to you um, because what happens, especially like if you were playing a game and you got to a particular point in a level and then you died and you just gave up, then that would be the end of the game. You just, you, you just wouldn't end up playing it anymore and the money that you'd spent on it would be an absolute waste. Oh, oh I've, I... <laughs> I think I'm getting worse. Um, so you've got to, you you can't let certain things get the better of you. Look, I mean, like I've I failed there. I could either just give up and not bother, but then if I don't overcome this hurdle, then I will never be able to complete the game. I will never get to where I want to be, which is at the end of the game to see the ending and and complete the game at like a hundred percent. And again, it's applicable even with life as well. If you don't, if you just give up, then you'll never know what it's like to be really efficient uh, in that or in anything. So what do you do? You don't give up, you stop moaning and you just get on with it and you work through it again. You overcome all of the obstacles that you're facing and you get to where you wanna be even faster. And that's all you can do. And eventually you will get back to that same moment and you will think about how to do things differently. And you will keep doing it until eventually you actually get back to that moment that you were struggling. And then you do it again and you do it again and you do it again. If you're someone who uh, if you were, let's say, doing a workout and you wanted to get a particular physique, you, maybe you can't lift a particular weight. You wouldn't just give up and quit the gym and be like, all right, I can't do it. I'm not going to get the body that I, I want. No, you'd go back to the gym and you'd do it again. Or if you were trying to uh, get good at running and you didn't get the time that you wanted, you would have a break and you'd get back to it again. You'd do another lap. Um same with like public speaking for people who are very scared about the idea of talking in front uh, of an audience of people right i'm back here again okay so down yes there we go there we go there we go there we go oops so you see, I mean, it took me a couple of times to get there, but I, I did it. I learned from my mistakes and I was able to move forward and move on to the next bit that I will probably find really, really challenging. But that's the point. There will always be obstacles. There'll always be moments that will be a challenge for you. And that is okay. It is perfectly acceptable and understanding if you keep coming across moments that are challenging you don't know what to do and maybe you give something a go and it doesn't work out but you can't let it take you can't let it uh 
you can't take it to heart, is what I'm trying to say. Hang on. I'm going to try and do this. Oh, yes. All right, now I've got to try and get up there, though. But yeah, you, you can't let it take it. You can't take it to heart. And when you then face your fears and you, you give things another chance, eventually you'll progress. And you'll be at a much better level than you were before. Suddenly you won't necessarily be a beginner anymore. You'll now be at a much better level. I'm going to try and do this. Hang on. Oh, yes. Right. I can tell this is going to be a challenging bit. Yes, 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 yes. So you have to really try and treat life a bit like a game that, you know, there are going to be moments that are going to be tough. They're going to be a challenge, but you can't let it stop you from continuing. You've got to try again and again and again until you become desensitized to it, until you get a better understanding of how to handle the situation, and then you'll get better. And then you'll move on to the next hurdle that will be stopping you from uh, from moving forward. And then you will learn to deal with that. And this is also why like, I really love the fact that there are coaches of sorts out there that if you're struggling on your own, you have the opportunity to go to a professional who can help you speed up the process. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going backwards now. Um, and maybe that's also an emphasis as well. Like you'll go backwards and forwards uh, with your personal development journey. Sometimes when you start trying to get good at something else, uh, something else gets neglected. Um, oh, uh, there we go. Uh, so something else gets neglected and then you almost have to do two steps uh, or one step back to go two steps forward. And ironically, I'm at some stairs. Oh. So, I mean, as you can see, I, I'm like somewhat progressing at least through this uh, this level now. Uh, right. There we go. And although some of these moments are quite challenging, I mean, I've, I've sort of seem to be doing all right so far. <laughs> I haven't completely embarrassed myself just yet. There we go. Nice life as well. But yeah, you just keep going. And really the difference, I'll just stop it there for a moment, but really one of the differences between playing a game and, you know, if you die and you, and you redo it again and you just keep doing it over and over, as opposed to if it was real life, if you were practicing your social skills and cold approaching strangers, the difference is really just the comfort zone that I am doing this in the comfort of my own home rather than putting myself outdoors or in a more physical environment that would involve me to actually be more proactive with me taking risks and the same kind of risks that I'm doing when I'm playing a game. I've had some games that, you know, I've really felt the adrenaline, especially if there's like, you know, a lot of timing and precision on stuff where I've really, really got to think and focus and concentrate on what I'm doing. And the best times that I've ever got results is usually when I've played a game for so long and I get into a flow state and my concentration is just so on it that I'm able to play it in the best way possible or, or be able to go through it without dying or or struggling with things so there we go so i've, I've kind of met guys definitely over the years who don't tend to adopt um this mindset of that you know what you have to be consistent you have to keep trying and doing things and learning from your mistakes to be able to get good at anything i mean if you if you think about people who have mastered skills or hobbies of sorts like in fact a great one is karate or a martial art you know 
people don't just go to a martial arts session, have one class, and then go, oh, well, I'm not a black belt today, so I'm just going to uh, I'm just gonna give up. You just don't find that at all. People have to work hard if... Bugger. Uh, people have to work hard if they want to get um, the results that they want. And you have to be willing to put up with all of the failures that you go through to actually get the best outcome at the end. Now on a game, obviously again, it's going to be to be able to complete the game. But in life, it could be the opportunity of actually getting a girlfriend or finding your ideal partner. Um, or maybe even getting the job that you've always wanted or the body that you've always wanted. You have to be committed to getting the results. Let's try this again. I really picked like the most challenging level for this. This is, uh, but I'm glad, I'm glad because then this is, this is also, you know, a challenge for me. Um, and actually a good test that I'm, I do struggle to multitask talking to the camera as well as, uh, as well as actually playing a game. I didn't realize I came this far back. But that's, in fact, maybe that's also another life lesson there, that sometimes uh, you get set back much more than what you'd uh, you'd like. Um, in fact, uh, I've, I've had clients who have experienced traumas of sorts, especially like in dating, um, and, um, and it puts them off of just wanting to date completely because of maybe they've been in like an abusive relationship or um uh or they were cheated on or maybe they were just like publicly embarrassed or just uh you know or just i don't know just just certain things that have happened in their relationship that has meant um that you know the guy just does not want to put himself out there into uh the dating uh, scene ever again and yet he'll still end up saying like how much he wants to, um, you know, be in a relationship, be happy and, and stuff. But if he doesn't at least put himself out there, he will never get the successes or the results that he wants. Oh, no, no, how far back has that set me? <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. Okay, well, I'll probably just do this until I end up using all my lives and then and then we will uh, call it there, I think, because I don't want to... I, I think I'm already in danger of just re-repeating myself from uh, struggling to, um, to multitask here. But I do hope at least you can see where I'm coming from with this, that, you know, if you want to get really good at any skill in life, the only way to do it is being consistent and be willing to, to fail in that process as you're doing it as well. Oh, we'll do that, hang on. There we go, yeah. Um, because if, uh, if you just keep giving up every time you end up failing or losing, then you'll never succeed at anything in life. And that's, I think, then a real shame to be that person who never wants to succeed at anything and you know and, it, and it's it's a hard then lifestyle to break out of so what i want you to at least consider at least after now watching through this uh uh this video is that i really do hope that you can kind of treat oh god i, I jumped into that uh, so what I, yeah, okay, I've only got like one life or, or two lives left. So I, want, I do, I want you to consider that, you know, if you want to get the best things out of life, you've got to be willing to fail and you may have to be willing to fail hundreds upon hundreds of times, but just know as those times goes on, you will become desensitized to them and they won't be a bother to you and you'll be learning from every interaction that you have. So you'll get better and better each time and hopefully you'll get to your result that you want faster as well. It's a bit like having a groundhog experience in a way. Um, 
I mean, as you can see, I'm although I've kept dying I kept the same bloody bit, I am getting back to it even faster than I was before. I'm being a lot less cautious, a lot more risky, because I kind of know what to expect. Okay. There we go. Right, don't jump here. Okay. Right, we're at this bit again. Okay, we're going to do this again now. Oh, oh I, didn't, I didn't jump near enough the edge. Okay, right, this is like the last last time that I'll do this now because otherwise this video will get, get crazy long. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed watching me uh, struggle and fail uh, as I'm doing this at the same time. But um, yeah, it, it, but it's, uh, hopefully it's just an important message that you can take away from this. Right, okay, so I'm here again. Right, down. Okay, there we go. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. There we go. Right. There we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, we'll we'll leave it there. Um but I I I genuinely hope that you can kind of get the um uh the gist of the point that I'm making here. I'm tempted to retry the level, uh but well, I'll do that in my own time. I won't worry about doing that in this video. But I really do hope that you can take away the message of, you know, be consistent. Don't let bad things that happen to you stop you from continuing your personal development journey. You've got to be willing to try and fail. Experience rejection, experience taking risk learn from it, find out what worked, find out what didn't work and do things different. And the better understanding you get of the whole circumstance, you'll find that you will in time get to where you want to be. If you're someone who is currently struggling with their social life through practice, through desensitization, through having lots of conversations, you will in time develop your social skills and build your confidence and within a year or so you could find yourself with your ideal partner and very happy and then be glad that you put that hard effort and um, and determination and motivation and all that into trying to work through your issues so thank you so much for watching hopefully that wasn't a bore for you and I didn't sound too repetitive with that that was certainly uh something out of my comfort zone to be multitasking uh at the same time with talking and playing a game so if you can please do leave a comment below and I would love to hear your thoughts on this video are you someone who uh gets put off of carrying on taking action and trying to do things because you've had a bad experience or are you someone who accepts the situation from it is and treats life a bit like a game that if they have a game over, if they fail and whatnot, they get back and they try and try again. And if you can, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, stay up to date on more things to do with anxiety. And I look forward to making more content that should be certainly a lot less challenging when it comes to multitasking um, in the near future too.